I cheated and husband now wants an open marriage. Story 1. I cheated on my husband with his best friend, and ex-husband, saved my son's life. What I'm about to admit breaks my heart every day I've hurt so many people, because I was a selfish person who trusted no one I've been through. So many heartbreaks before getting married. That cold and trust no man my father died in the hospital from cancer one of the last thing he told me trust no man who works all day there's no such job my father cheated on my mother and left for another woman I know the ones who will read this will mock me or hate me for what I to my ex-husband but let me tell you he may hate me but I will always love him there is nothing I can do to make up for what he has done for me and my kids he can't hate me more than I hate myself when we first met. He seemed like such a confident fellow he walked up to me and started talking to me he was hilarious, had amazing stories, super hard worker, and really really smart we met in college, and he was engineer major we dated, and a little while later I've met his friend we graduated and husband became an officer rank in the military before boot camp, he would train for the whole day, if it wasn't training with the marines he paid. It was with MMA fighters I was bored, and he never had time for me his friend gave me hints, and suggested we should hang out as friends he used to tell me he feels out of husband's league let's call him John John worked at Target John would always text me funny jokes I didn't feel like it was anything bad. So I texted back next thing we know, the jokes turned into flirting comments at this point. Husband was nowhere near, and if a man is never near, he's always cheating John would always tell me. He's a prick has always taking advantage of me, but gives me no time for me. I agreed John I went on dates. While husband would be killing himself, in training we ended up getting a hotel and slept with each other. John made me promise I won't tell he feared for his life. If husband found out I said well has cheating too. So I don't care if has hurt fast forward two years later. I got pregnant I tell husband I'm pregnant, and he gets super excited he picks me up and starts crying because has going to be a father he tells me he loves me and kisses 1000 times I never told him about the cheating I asked him if has seeing someone else. He swears he never done anything like that I had no time to feel guilty. So I never told him he takes care of me for the whole month's rent out a beautiful place for the baby shower. He invited my family. His family what an awesome man invited 300 people in a matter of 2 days he loves to feel in control and doesn't let me lift a finger my mother loved him my mother in law called me her baby whenever husband and I argued he invited my family. His family what an awesome man invited 300 people in a matter of 2 days he loves to feel in control and doesn't let me lift a finger my mother loved him my mother in law. Called me her baby whenever husband and I argued she would slap him for arguing with her baby honestly my new family was amazing. All the more reason to hate myself I give birth to twins two beautiful babies that came out looking nothing like husband my heart drops him. Scared hell notice that anyone will notice they come out looking like John him a horrible while my husband goes in train. He'll go sleep with his closest friend while he's excited for having a baby. Him going behind his back it will destroy him why did I keep going? He wasn't there for me as timely while he's at boot camp. I couldn't afford of being spotted with John. So we met secretly while I receive his letters. I would write back while John is sleeping on my bed husband was there for the birth of the girls he held them for the first time and started. Crying he said has going to be an even better parent than his parents I believed him. I couldn't make eye contact cause he'll feel super guilty I knew they weren't his kids I didn't know how to tell him John knew as well a years later. Husband took us to Disney World he surprised me with a beautiful ring since the day I met you. You've been there for me we studied together. We graduated together we made a family together there's nothing we can't do every time I look at my girls. I fall in love all over I have the best right in front of me and will never let go of my girls you make me a better man every time I need. That balance in my life I need you for the rest of my life will you marry me? Of course I said yes. My tears wasn't tears of joy. It was tears of guilt he wiped them off and said. Why do I feel guilt coming your tears my heart dropped. And I said no I'm happy I love you. I did love him. But I didn't deserve him John. And I still saw each other husband would get deployed. And we would have s time constantly husband was away he. Cold and tell me when he was coming back John told me it's all a lie he said has coming back in 5 months husband said he can't tell me what 
does for the military what job in the military is so secretive, unless he's a spy bullshit in my mind I was so sure he was sleeping with other women John and I would take care of the girls as husband, is away have s time all day. I told John he needs to work, so he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do. I told John he needs to work, so he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do. I told John he needs to work. So he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen. I told John he needs to work so he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen I stayed shut one day. He wanted some, and I said I said what, if has not cheating what, if has just working he hugged me, started kissing me, whispered to me. I told John he needs to work, so he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen I stayed shut one day. He wanted some, and I said I said what, if has not cheating what, if has just working he hugged me. Started kissing me. Whispered to me. I told John he needs to work. So he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he. Said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen I stayed shut one day. He wanted some. And I said I said what. If has not cheating what. If has just working he hugged me. Started kissing me. Whispered to me listen I knew this man my entire life he always lies to women. Telling them he loves them. And when they're not looking. Has with another woman him telling you has with another woman over there continues kissing my neck I enjoyed s time with him. He threw on the bed we started 10 minutes later. He bangs right through the door my life was over in a flash I saw his tears. And then has killing the best man of our wedding him screaming. You're going to kill him. Him trying to get him off of John husband is a 5ft11. 200 pounds man about to kill a 5ft8 guy 150 pound guy in 5ft2. I told John he needs to work. So he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he. Said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen I stayed shut one day. He wanted some. And I said I said what. If has not cheating what. If has just working he hugged me. Started kissing me. Whispered to me listen I knew this man my entire life he always lies to women. Telling them he loves them. And when they're not looking. Has with another woman him telling you has with another woman over there continues kissing my neck I enjoyed s time with him. He threw on the bed we started 10 minutes later. He bangs right through the door my life was over in a flash I saw his tears. And then has killing the best man of our wedding and screaming. You're going to kill him. Him trying to get him off of John husband is a 5ft11. 200 pounds man about to kill a 5ft8 guy 150 pound guy in 5ft2 what can I do? Him doing the best I can to stop him. I push him back and make him look at me. He lost his mind I saw his pupil getting bigger and smaller over. And over again him crying. Because I never seen him like this. I look at John and has washed up in blood. Husband literally screams at me. And destroys the whole room I was so scared I literally thought I was going to die at this moment. I believed he never did anything behind my back cops came. Ambulance came so much happened two weeks later. We had to get paternity test. And lie detector tested my world dropped husband has never been with another woman behind my back never even kissed my father told me all. Men cheats when they're away for too long I haven't seen my husband in six months how is it possible my husband never cheated. It was hard to believe it, but if the questions I know were true, these questions had to be true what have I done I've been betraying my husband, so many times I've cheated on him since the beginning. The baby shower. The gender reveal. During the wedding John came up to me smacked my ass and squeezed me, and while my husband was deployed, I brought his friend over to sleep with him. Not only that I made him believe he's the father of my girls all this was revealed to him that day, but I told John he needs to work. So he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he said careful. Don't make me tell husband I can't afford for something like that to happen I stayed shut one day. He wanted some and I said I said what if has not cheating what if has just working he hugged me. Started kissing me. Whispered to me listen I knew this man my entire life he always lies to women. 
telling them he loves them. And when they're not looking. Hez with another woman I'm telling you Hez with another woman over there continues kissing my neck I enjoyed s time with him. He threw on the bed we started 10 minutes later. He bangs right through the door my life was over in a flash I saw his tears. And then Hez killing the best man of our wedding and screaming. You're going to kill him. I'm trying to get him off of John husband is a 5ft11. 200 pounds man about to kill a 5ft8 guy 150 pound guy I'm 5ft2 what can I do? I'm doing the best I can to stop him. I push him back and make him look at me. He lost his mind I saw his pupil getting bigger and smaller over. And over again I'm crying because I never seen him like this. I look at John and has washed up in blood. Husband literally screams at me and destroys the whole room I was so scared I literally thought I was going to die at this moment. I believed he never did anything behind my back cops came. Ambulance came so much happened two weeks later. We had to get paternity test. And lie detector tested my world dropped husband has never been with another woman behind my back never even kissed my father told me all. Men cheats when they're away for too long I haven't seen my husband in 6 months how is it possible my husband never cheated. It was hard to believe it, but if the questions I know were true, these questions had to be true what have I done I've been betraying my husband, so many times I've cheated on him since the beginning. The baby shower. The gender reveal. During the wedding John came up to me smacked my ass and squeezed me. And while my husband was deployed, I brought his friend over to sleep with him. Not only that I made him believe he's the father of my girls all this was revealed to him that day. I told John he needs to work so he can take care of his kids he said not to tell him what to do that has a grown ass man we argued and he said careful don't make me tell husband i can't afford for something like that to happen i stayed shut one day he wanted some and i said i said what if has not cheating what if has just working he hugged me started kissing me whispered to me listen i knew this man my entire life he always lies to women telling them he loves them and when they're not looking has with another woman I'm telling you has with another woman over there continues kissing my neck I enjoyed s time with him. He threw on the bed we started 10 minutes later. He bangs right through the door my life was over in a flash I saw his tears. And then has killing the best man of our wedding and screaming. You're going to kill him. I'm trying to get him off of John husband is a 5ft11. 200 pounds man about to kill a 5ft8 guy 150 pound guy I'm 5ft2 what can I do. I'm doing the best I can to stop him. I push him back and make him look at me. He lost his mind I saw his pupil getting bigger and smaller over. And over again I'm crying because I never seen him like this. I look at John and has washed up in blood. Husband literally screams at me and destroys the whole room I was so scared I literally thought I was going to die at this moment. I believed he never did anything behind my back cops came. Ambulance came so much happened two weeks later. We had to get paternity test. And lie detector tested my world dropped husband has never been with another woman behind my back never even kissed my father told me all. Men cheats when they're away for too long I haven't seen my husband in 6 months how is it possible my husband never cheated. It was hard to believe it but if the questions I know were true. These questions had to be true what have I done I've been betraying my husband so many times I've cheated on him since the beginning. The baby shower. The gender reveal. During the wedding John came up to me smacked my ass and squeezed me. And while my husband was deployed, I brought his friend over to sleep with him. Not only that I made him believe he's the father of my girls all this was revealed to him. That day and that day all my guilt I tried to compress four years exploded out of me John's test revealed has been lying to me. So he can sleep with me. That he was always a jealous piece of crap. So he decided to break husband my mother was heartbroken she cried all night she loved husband. Like her son she looked at like him her enemy she told me. Im just like my father he gave you a home. While has out here putting food on the table. Giving you a comfortable bed. Taking care of your kids. Has surviving out there you cold and tell him has not the father. That he was always a jealous piece of crap. So he decided to break husband my mother was heartbroken she cried all night she loved husband. Like her son she looked at like him her enemy she told me. Im just like my father he gave you a home. While has out here putting food on the table. Giving you a comfortable bed. Taking care of your kids. 
He's surviving out there you cold and tell him he's not the father. F that he was always a jealous piece of crap. So he decided to break husband my mother was heartbroken she cried all night she loved husband. Like her son she looked at like him her enemy she told me. Im just like my father he gave you a home. While he's out here putting food on the table. Giving you a comfortable bed. Taking care of your kids. He's surviving out there you cold and tell him he's not the father. That the father is the best man of the wedding. And you're pregnant again. Were you going to tell him he's the father to this one too? I failed as a mother she looked down cried and walked away my father cheated. And beat down my mother physically. And verbally. And emotionally at home. I found husband lifeless on the floor. Out of his mind I hold on to him. Begging for his forgiveness I look at him, and it's like he's dead, but still breathing I've destroyed the one man who loved me. The man who never went behind my back he always had my back I thought maybe we can make this work. And if he gave me another chance, that I would be the best wife there is he divorced me before all that. One of his men said to me do you know what he went through? He ordered me not to say a word. But it's women like you, that makes me not want to marry he saved my life. He saved a little girl's life you've betrayed a hero he hates me till this day I beg for forgiveness, but he ignores me, I haven't seen him in months at this point has still in my girl's life I still feel tremendous guilt, but what can I do, I wish I can change things my son is 8 years old at this point my baby the best little man God has given, is dying his heart is failing and he, literally dying telling me not to cry, that has going to love even when has not here all of sudden. Doctors comes in for surgery my baby needed a heart transplant. But I don't have that kind of money nurse brings me outside and tells me it's all been paid for I asked who, when how what, who. My sister runs up to me. She asked did they take her nephew. I shout yes, but asked who paid. John can have this money. Sister shook her head and ex-husband for a favor my world dropped my heart dropped. That he was always a jealous piece of crap. So he decided to break husband my mother was heartbroken she cried all night she loved husband. Like her son she looked at like him her enemy she told me. Im just like my father he gave you a home. While he's out here putting food on the table. Giving you a comfortable bed. Taking care of your kids. He's surviving out there you cold and tell him he's not the father. That the father is the best man of the wedding. And you're pregnant again. Were you going to tell him he's the father to this one too? I failed as a mother she looked down cried and walked away my father cheated and beat down my mother physically and verbally and emotionally at home. I found husband lifeless on the floor. Out of his mind I hold on to him. Begging for his forgiveness I look at him and it's like he's dead but still breathing I've destroyed the one man who loved me. The man who never went behind my back he always had my back I thought maybe we can make this work. And if he gave me another chance, that I would be the best wife there is he divorced me before all that. One of his men said to me do you know what he went through? He ordered me not to say a word. But it's women like you, that makes me not want to marry he saved my life. He saved a little girl's life you've betrayed a hero he hates me till this day I beg for forgiveness. But he ignores me, I haven't seen him in months at this point has still in my girl's life I still feel tremendous guilt. But what can I do? I wish I can change things my son is 8 years old at this point my baby the best little man God has given is dying his heart is failing and he literally dying telling me not to cry. That has going to love even when has not here all of sudden. Doctors comes in for surgery my baby needed a heart transplant. But I don't have that kind of money nurse brings me outside and tells me it's all been paid for I asked who, when how what, who. My sister runs up to me. She asked did they take her nephew. I shout yes, but asked who paid. John can have this money. Sister shook her head and ex-husband for a favor my world dropped my heart dropped. That he was always a jealous piece of crap. So he decided to break husband my mother was heartbroken she cried all night she loved husband. Like her son she looked at like him her enemy she told me. Im just like my father he gave you a home. While he's out here putting food on the table. Giving you a comfortable bed. Taking care of your kids. He's surviving out there you cold and tell him he's not the father. That the father is the best man of the wedding. And you're pregnant again. Were you going to tell him he's the father to this one too? I failed as a mother she looked down cried and walked away my father cheated. And beat down my mother physically. And verbally. And emotionally at home. I found husband lifeless on the floor. 
Out of his mind I hold on to him. Begging for his forgiveness I look at him, and it's like he's dead, but still breathing I've destroyed the one man who loved me. The man who never went behind my back he always had my back I thought maybe we can make this work. And if he gave me another chance, that I would be the best wife there is he divorced me before all that. One of his men said to me do you know what he went through? He ordered me not to say a word. But it's women like you, that makes me not want to marry he saved my life. He saved a little girl's life you have betrayed a hero he hates me till this day I beg for forgiveness, but he ignores me, I haven't seen him in. Months at this point has still in my girl's life I still feel tremendous guilt. But what can I do? I wish I can change things my son is 8 years old at this point my baby the best little man God has given, is dying his heart is failing and he, literally dying telling me not to cry. That has going to love even when has not here all of sudden. Doctors comes in for surgery my baby needed a heart transplant. But I don't have that kind of money nurse brings me outside and tells me it's all been paid for I asked who. When how what? Who? My sister runs up to me. She asked did they take her nephew? I shout yes. But asked who paid. John can have this money. Sister shook her head and ex-husband for a favor my world dropped my heart drop there's no way ex-husband has this money about 5 hours later. I saw M baby sleeping the machine showed his new heart beating like a drum I started crying kissing my baby I called X and he won't pick up. I constantly keep crying the man I hurt so bad. The man I betrayed so brutally with his best friend. The man who stayed with my girls because he couldn't bring himself to leave them saved my baby boy he was the only person in the world that was able to pay for my baby's surgery John never took care of his kids ever. Since he got that beat down he abandoned them of course ex didn't take care of my baby boy he never hated him. But he never built a bond with him and baby always asked me who is his father I cried and hated myself every day I look at the mirror and see. The woman who destroyed her kids lives for being selfish my bae starts walking again later on I beg ex to let me see him that I need to find. A way to make it up to him. I know there's no way for me to ever do. That he told me. He had to tell tons of parents their son daughter has been killed and it never got easy. He said he never wanted to see me bury my own child. He never wanted the girls to lose their little brother. So he instantly paid for the surgery till this day has never trusted another friend. Not to mention woman he doesn't have biological kids he pushes everyone away. Before they get the chance to get to know his name he visits his. Buried comrades every weekend I hate myself for this. I always ask God forgiveness and for one day for him to forgive me. I could never forgive myself I know the comment will be harsh maybe ill. Deserve every hate he'll get. But please give me advice on how to heal from this. The man I betrayed so brutally with his best friend. The man who stayed with my girls because he couldn't bring himself to leave them saved my baby boy he was the only person in the world that was able to pay for my baby's surgery John never took care of his kids ever since he got that beat down he abandoned them of course ex didn't take care of my baby boy he never hated him but he never built a bond with him and baby always asked me who is his father I cried and hated myself every day I look at the mirror and see the woman who destroyed her kids lives for being selfish my bae starts walking again later on I beg ex to let me see him that I need to find a way to make it up to him. I know there's no way for me to ever do that he told me. He had to tell tons of parents their son daughter has been killed and it never got easy he said he never wanted to see me bury my own child. He never wanted the girls to lose their little brother so he instantly paid for the surgery till this day has never trusted another friend. Not to mention woman he doesn't have biological kids he pushes everyone away before they get the chance to get to know his name he visits his. Buried comrades every weekend I hate myself for this. I always ask God forgiveness and for one day for him to forgive me. I could never forgive myself I know the comment will be harsh maybe ill. Deserve every hate he'll get. But please give me advice on how to heal from this. The man I betrayed so brutally with his best friend. The man who stayed with my girls because he couldn't bring himself to leave them saved my baby boy he was the only person in the world that was able to pay for my baby's surgery John never took care of his kids ever since he got that beat down he abandoned them of course ex didn't take care of my baby boy he never hated him but he never built a bond with him and baby always asked me who is his father I cried and hated myself every day I look at the mirror and see 
The woman who destroyed her kids lives for being selfish my bae starts walking again later on I beg X to let me see him that I need to find a way to make it up to him. I know there's no way for me to ever do that he told me. He had to tell tons of parents their son daughter has been killed and it never got easy he said he never wanted to see me bury my own child. He never wanted the girls to lose their little brother so he instantly paid for the surgery till this day has never trusted another friend. Not to mention woman he doesn't have biological kids he pushes everyone away before they get the chance to get to know his name he visits his buried comrades every weekend I hate myself for this. I always ask God forgiveness and for one day for him to forgive me. I could never forgive myself I know the comment will be harsh maybe ill. Deserve every hate he'll get. But please give me advice on how to heal from this how long will it take for me to be forgiven or for him to trust and love again. Lo Story 2. I'm a 23 year old woman and I have been married to my husband for 3 years. I have cheated on him for the last 2 years. He caught me in my lies and so I had to tell him everything. I feel ashamed for it but has being understanding and now wants to open our marriage but I don't feel comfortable with it. I know it sounds hypocritical of me and even selfish, but for some reason I can't just bear to see him with someone else. And when I say he wants an open relationship he wants to include me in everything. He says it'll make us closer. But for some reason it's just not okay in my mind and I guess it's because I'm a jealous person. I fear if we open our marriage he might like s time better with that other person. When I was cheating, and the way I think about it is, that it's not something personal. It's just s time and it's not always s time it's flirting or s time ting. Because I'm not falling in love with that other person. I just like the whole teasing game which the majority of the time for me it doesn't have to lead to s time as mentioned before. I just like to be noticed and feel hot and s to me and making other men hot for me. And my husband thinks that I cannot live without being this way which is untrue. Because our first year of marriage I was completely devoted to him and only him. Then we got into arguments and have said and done things that made me resent him and question his love for me which I believe is why it lead me to cheating and flirting. Which I know it doesn't justify my actions. Despite the things he has said to me and the things he has done to make me resent him and it doesn't compare to what I did. After he found out I had cheated, I have come to realize what an amazing husband I have and who I don't want to lose has done countless things for me and has always put me first for everything. Which is why I feel completely ashamed for cheating on him, but most of all for lying to him. And we have great s time, and I honestly don't care, nor am I really looking to have s time with anybody else. Like I said, before I just like the game, and feeling hot and s to me, and making men want me. Which is what I'm trying to explain to him, but it is hard for him to believe me. I just don't know, if I want to open the marriage. I just want the things, to go back to the way they used to be, but I don't think they are. And we don't want a divorce, because we have done a lot. To get to where we are and we both agreed that we didn't want to throw it away i just wish i wasn't this jealous possessive wife someone please give me some advice